Hi guys and uh, welcome to uh, well, what is going to be a, um, a little bit of a, a mix in terms of what I'm going to be talking about um, because I've got a lot of things in front of me. I mean, when I mean a lot of things, I mean a lot of things, okay? And a few more still over there. Um, the first topic that I'm going to be talking to you about is something which was... Uh, well, the product of a, of a fellow um, IEM um, aficionado. Uh, I'm talking about Jeffrey Fries. And I want to start by, first of all, thanking him for, for having sent me these, these models for me to try out. I've got here his OnePlus 3 hybrid. Okay. I've got here his, what he calls the OnePlus 2, one, uh, 122, which is a OnePlus uh, One Dynamic 2 BAs and 2 ESTs, so a tribrid. And I've got here as well another version of the OnePlus 2, uh, sorry, the OnePlus 3 with a, a slightly different tuning. Okay, so I've got here basically three models from him uh, that firstly showcase uh, this man's uh, ability um, uh, you know if you if you take into consideration that he's very much self-taught um, this what he's been able to achieve with these IEMs is um, in my opinion nothing short of spectacular I mean um, I, I play around with DIY stuff and I've made a couple of very interesting single DD IEMs I have to say um, but when it comes to the implementation of uh, hybrids, you know, the usage of BAs and, and ESTs and so on and so forth, uh, there's there's a complexity associated to that that you really have to start having that extra about, uh, amount of knowledge to be able to 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 achieve decent results. And, and I myself have been playing around with that as well, and I still haven't reached the point where I'm comfortable enough to showcase what I've done. But these models, which is what we're talking about from, from Jeff, are... Uh, are well you know like i said pretty spectacular let me just um, put some graphs here so um, i can kind of show you what he's uh, what he's achieved with this and i'll, I'll briefly then talk to you about uh, what um, <clears throat> excuse me what i've uh, what i've experienced with him and so on and so forth so one plus three, the first version, then one plus three, the second version, and then open the one two two. Okay, just gonna align quickly all of these things so that it will be easier to compare between them. That's aligned. And that's aligned. All right. Okay. Let's let's look at these graphs and then talk a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let me actually let me just first show you out of these three graphs because the three is a bit of a confusion. I'm just gonna do away with two of them and just show you the one which is the first version of the one plus three. Okay. That's the first version of the OnePlus 3 from Jeff. And, I mean, you, you don't have to be too knowledgeable, but straight away when you look at this graph, you can see that in terms of how the base and the mids were done, I mean, by 100 hertz is basically flat. So there's no bleed, nothing, zero. It doesn't exist. It's it's not even a, a possibility or, or, or anything. It doesn't exist. Then it rises very smoothly uh, from 1K up where it peaks at close to 3k and then basically maintains itself nice and flat and then dips and some extension past that what does all that translate when you, you look at you know when you look at a graph and then you 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 see the, the IEM well, I'm trying to focus this for you but it's not be, there we go uh, is it gonna focus there we go that's mm, no, not being easy well, I'll show it to you in a second anyway the last thing that we can say about this particular IM is that its sound is aggressive. No, there's no aggressiveness in the sound. This is as smooth as it can get. And to, 
to 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 um, get a perception of how smooth this is i'm actually going to put the moon drop blessing too which is something that well not all but many people will know and the, the one thing that the blessing too is known for is being a smooth operator i mean that's that's the best description that we can give to it i guess detailed smooth maybe perhaps even borderline boring to some people and you know when you look at the graph of jeff and you see the blessing too uh, next to it as well obviously graphs are graphs and you know you, you take it as it is you, you straight away get the idea of what i'm trying to say when i say that the the, the one plus three from jeff is relaxed it is very relaxed if, for example, the Blessing 2 was not known for being the most base prominent uh, IEM, this is even less. It is, it is, the base that is present is just enough to complement the rest. That's basically the best way I can describe. Um, yes, yes, it will at times be a little bit lacking. Yes, at, at times you will feel, oh, I wanted a little bit more here. Yeah. But this is the perfect IEM for that diehard aficionado that wants something very neutral very relaxed very this is it on the other hand in terms of the mids that neutrality that 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 ability to maintain itself nice and smooth it it just makes for a, a very nice uh, vocal presentation very nice instrumental presentation um again it will be lacking at some points and it's and with certain music genres because of the bass being so light but uh, again this is this is all very it's all it's such a, a subjective issue this this matter of sound uh, that you know uh, i i when i listen to any i am and when i listen to them i listen to them and i try to always put myself in the shoes of what was the design premise that the engineer was trying to do in this case what was the design premise that uh, jeff was trying to to put forward and he wanted something smooth and smooth you got period that's it and um, i'm not going to get too much into issues like detailed retrieval and imaging and sound state and so on. so the technicalities i just want to kind of basically present you guys and show you guys what this man has achieved okay if on the other hand you don't want such a, a laid-back presentation but you want something with a little bit more guts then you take the version 2 for example and the version 2 is this graph okay as you can see I'll just take away the version one so it's easy to see. As you can see, uh, it's got already this, this, let's say, the basically the same base signature of the of the of the of the moon drop of the blessing. Um, perhaps the graph doesn't show this, but perhaps the, the Jeff's actually is a little bit more prominent than what is seen there on on, on graphically, um, and then the rest you can see. Uh, what are the points that in my opinion should be corrected the points that in my opinion should be corrected are trying to make that extra in it also as you can see the 2k to 8k has all been pushed up but it's been at the cost of it becoming a little bit more ragged so I, th I, th I think I suggest I, I don't want this to come across as the wrong way I think that if this can be somehow plateaued then it's a winner and uh, why because uh, although this extra energy uh, does help and did help with with way improved technicalities when you push the volume it doesn't scale as ideally i would like it to scale personally with my music and so there are music or there are songs that can become a little bit aggressive okay there are songs that can become a little bit oh wow but again having taken having said that you know take it for what it is it is a very nice sounding i am there's absolutely nothing that uh I would really falter when I take into consideration how it was made, who was made, and and again, let's not forget one thing. This was done by an individual who's an amateur. Okay, no big company, no big engineering background, no nothing. This was just a hardcore, diehard aficionado of earphones and music and sound, and he was able to make this. That and this is the reason why I do not accept that companies which have the money, the ability, the know-how, they have everything going for them, can then sometimes launch products which are so, I mean, uh, shows the series. If you've never heard that IEM, don't bother. 
how can they have launched something like that? It just boggles my mind. I just don't understand. I, I try to understand, but I don't. And we talk about Shozi. You know, they, they make good IEMs. Uh, your expectation is there. And, and what I say for shows, he applies for a few other brands. I mean, if we're talking about cheap stuff, then okay, you can't really expect much. But still, there's very well tuned cheap stuff. I mean, you took, you take uh, the HD Sound Heart Mirror, you take even the blonde. Come on, guys, let's let's be honest about it. You take the blonde, you play, you take the HD Sound Heart Mirror, you take the latest from KZ, the Ultra, the EDX Ultra, the CRA Plus. Um, you take uh, the SG01 from Richo, you take the the, the Aria, uh, but I'll, I'm already creeping up a little bit on price, but you take those first items that I mentioned, which are all below $50, and those things are well-tuned, they play well. So if it can, that can be done. There must be no nonsense, oh no, R&D, no, that's nonsense, that's, that's BS. If the desire to do it properly is there, it will be done, period, period. I mean, like I said, I play around with a couple of of my own DIY IEMs and hopefully things will, will go the way I'm hoping it will go. But I'll be showing you something I just did with a Blon 03 uh, in the next few minutes. And it basically confirms what I've always suspected that the Blon 03 driver and the Tans Jump driver are most likely very similar drivers coming from the same source with very little or no difference, just tuned differently. And I've basically taken a Blon 03 and I've tuned it and it sounds 90% uh, like a tensium oxygen. Uh, I, I, I don't have any issues with saying this out loud. I've taken a Blonde 03, I've done a, two very simple to do mods on it, and I've made it sound, it sound like 90% an oxygen. And I'm not saying this without having an oxygen, no, I've got two oxygens. I compared, them, I, I compared it to my Blonde extensively, and trust me, it sounds like it. I've taken an Olina, I've listened to the Olina next to this modified blonde, they sound, again, almost identical. Uh, why don't companies do this from the get-go? I don't know, maybe it's a commercial thing, maybe it's uh, they, they don't want to showcase all their abilities. But what I'm trying to say by all of this that, I'm, that I've just said is that um, the wheel has been invented, my friends. Okay? Taking this, you know, putting aside novel technologies, the wheel has been invented. And there's no reason why Companies should not tune their IEMs to sound properly. Anyway, back on yeah to 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 Jeff's stuff. So this is his other version of the One Plus Three. Okay, it's uh, this one here, uh, a little bit brighter sounding. Will satisfy more, let's say the 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 ones looking for a bit of a more energetic sound. But the one that really really got me uh, and I really really enjoyed a lot was this. He's uh, Tribrid. And uh, fair enough, you, you look at it graphically, you know, and you don't see anything that really is um, too much uh, of a shock. Okay, you see a little bit more um, that mid bass section there transitioning to transitioning into the um, into the uh, into the low mids. Um, well, there's really no 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 bleed. I'm not gonna say there's bleed because I, I really didn't pick up on it. Nice pin again, peaks at around 2.5 plateaus, dip at around 5, so no sibilance again. That peak at 8 is couple related, and then extension past that. Um, again, you know, considering the knowledge of this man, this is amazing. It plays amazing. I'm just going to put, I'm not going to be comparing it to EJs and, and variations and so on and so forth. Although, look, okay, I can that's the graph of the variations there, so, I mean, it's, but anyway, um, I'm just going to compare it to one uh, relatively cheap uh, tribrid, which is uh, a tribrid that I really, really, really was um, hoping would have been something quite spectacular, which is the TRN, the backs, okay, let me just align the backs here. And like I was saying, the Bex has behind it all the knowledge and the, and the financial capabilities of a mega company, which is TRN. Okay, and when I hear the Bex and I compare it to Jeff's, honestly, Jeff's sounds better. 
Simple. Jeff's sounds better. I do not understand why they, you know, TRN didn't clean this up a little bit more. They know how to do it. They know how to do it. I mean, I did it. I cleaned it up. I played around a little bit with my backs. And that's my backs. That's my backs. Way, way better than the stock one. Much, much better than the stock one. Uh, it, it just, it just, it, it just sounds better. Period. My backs just sounds better than the stock one. I was able to reduce all of that excessive energy that was present there. Um, that just, I don't know. Just, it just didn't, it just didn't make things sound right in that area there, around eight to ten k. Cleaned it up, plateaued the the sound much better. So no dips, no nothing. Uh, and, and overall, you hear my backs and you listen to the standard backs, and it's it's two totally different IMs. The only thing I will say about my backs as compared to some other backs that I've seen is that it seems to have a bit, a bit more sub bass. I've seen the backs uh, usually rolling off uh, quicker. But again, and we are talking about Jeff, okay, and his t tribrid compared to a stock backs, my friends. It's there for everyone to see. His is better. It's better tuned. It sounds better. It's it's clean, clean, clean. Uh, and and I can only say congratulations to the man. Honestly, congratulations to the man. Uh, expect uh, good things from him. Expect some serious, seriously good stuff from him. Um, as for well, let me just show you the AMs a little bit better because I actually didn't show it to you. So that's the one version of the one plus three okay as you can see nice the quality of the shells and everything's all made by him he's decent i'm sure that with time they will improve there's really nothing i i, I couldn't do better let's put it that way uh, this one is all full transparent very nice this actually this shell actually came out very very nice very it's nice quality of the of the resin everything very nice okay and this is the shell of the tribrid perhaps of the three it was the one that was a little bit more untidy let's put it that way it's got a little bit a few rough edges here and there but still overall very very nicely executed um, i mean like i said you cannot falter this man because what he has been able to achieve is pretty spectacular period uh, that's it now on to what i was uh, talking about a little bit earlier and I'm sure those those of you that know will have already recognized this is a Blon 03. And these are the Blon 03s that I modified, okay? And I'm gonna now show you the graphs of these modified Blon 03s. And, and uh, well, then you guys be the judge and tell me what you think, honestly. Let me just do away with some ex uh, unnecessary graphs that are here. Take away this, take away this, this take away this one as well okay that's the graph of those blondes and you look at it and you say wow that looks good and trust me people it not only looks good it sounds good okay uh, there's two versions there's one with a little bit more bass and one with a little bit less bass I'll show you the one with a little bit less bass uh, this one here exactly Okay, let me just align them, there we go, we'll actually leave that one there on, okay, that's the graph of my tension, oh, sorry, of my, um, my Blonde 03, retuned by me, um, and <laughs> for, for comparison, let me put on a tensium oxygen so that you guys can see what I mean by how similar they are. That's it. My friends, that's a tensium oxygen, one of them uh, that I have. Uh, the other one that I have has a little bit more bass. So actually in the bass section below 50 hertz, it actually complement, it, it's, it's closer to the blonde. Uh, but this is, let's say, 
the first version of the oxygen if you want to call it that way and as you can see the oxygen has just got a little bit of extra energy between 2 and 7k a little bit you know like 2 dBs here and there okay? a little bit less ultimate sub bass you know 20 30 hertz but overall the sound is almost identical it is not even funny or how close they sound and when I say it's 95% I, I, I honestly think I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating I'm being actually quite uh, quite uh, quite realistic let's put it that way let me show you here uh, with the triple one Olina change the color there we go and that's my blonde compared to the, the triple one Olina so let me just take away the oxygen and my blonde is over there so again what you can see is the uh, the Olina has got more energy, yes, a little bit more energy again, 2, 3 dBs here and there on that upper upper mids and presence area, and a little bit more mid-bass pump. But, for example, that's with this version of the blonde. If I put the other blonde version that I have, which I've just put it on, they are even closer. Even closer. I mean, uh, I think it's very hard to get even closer than that. The bass is almost identical. And everything it's very even that uh, section there past 10k that supposedly you don't measure you know so well because of the cup and so on and so forth when i say they sound almost identical i am being as honest and as sincere i can be as i as ask and as as i i can possibly be unbelievably uh well i mean it's just honestly it's it's a mod that i truly recommend everybody that has the blonde and wants, uh, wants to keep the blonde, if you want to keep it as it is, keep it as it is. But if you have the blonde and you want to modify it to sound amazing, uh, here it is. I don't have any issues with explaining the mod. You know, private message me, please. And I'll explain the mod. Um, and that's that. I mean, <laughs> really, not much more than I can say. As a basis of comparison as well, just so that you guys can see... Uh, what what uh, what this blonde uh, is capable of doing modified? I'm just going to show you the blonde with sorry uh, EDX Pro Ultra. That's the EDX Pro Ultra. Uh, actually, let me change the color to red so you guys can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay, now although graphically, as you can see. They seem almost identical. When you listen to it, the blonde has got this cleanliness. Um, it has got this. Um, uh, the, the word is a strong word. It's got this visceral impact to the to the bass. That it's just um, you have to hear it. While the bass or the ultra is clean, it's strong. It's got presence. You know, no question about it. I love it. The bass on the blonde has got this hit. It hits you really hard. It is surreal, honestly, surreal. Um, it is unbelievable. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, this is the EDA balanced version, and as you can see, again, very, very, very similar. Um, and then, okay, that's it. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is something that, well, it was an IEM that had its. Uh, had its merit back in its day, but never really got much love. And you're looking at the graph of it right now, and you will be asking to yourself, oh wow, that's that's not a bad graph. That's actually nice and smooth bass, transitions into the mid bass, you know, from mid to mid bass and to mids, and a very nice, very smooth. Only that peak there at 7, well, 8K, that uh, it's probably a couple of related, and I, I believe so. Hey, uh, Akros, what could you possibly be speaking about? Well, I'm speaking about <laughs> a TRN. STM, yeah, STM, the one that had the removable nozzles that you could tune and change and so on and so forth. Okay, this was this thing was dirt cheap back in the day. This thing could be had for like twenty two dollars, I'm mistaken, and you can still buy it. I mean, you can still 
Um, actually, let me just put this down so we can see it better. Okay, there you go. TRN STM. Okay. Um, I was playing around with it and decided to. Uh, let me just change a few things here and there and see what I can do. And uh, again, um, <laughs> a super, super simple mod. Um, and uh, these are the results. And to contextualize these results somehow for you guys so that you can understand better. This is what I've just laid there is the graph of an MIM Dark Magician. And by no means am I saying that this sounds like a Dark Magician. No, it doesn't sound like a Dark Magician. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, you listen to the STM the way I've done it there. And if I don't tell you it's an STM, you will think it is some really 200 plus dollar IEM that you're listening to. That's how good it sounds. Uh, even that metallicness, plasticness of the BA timbre, uh, it's just come down sufficiently to not be an issue. So, you know, this again goes back to what I was saying early on in our conversation. I just don't understand why companies sometimes don't just spend a little bit of time, people. Just spend a little bit of time and make something like this. This is something that would definitely, definitely be an IEM that a lot of people would enjoy having because it's got a mature signature, it's got a mature sound, and it sounds good. And trust me, when I say it sounds good, it sounds good. I listened to it with a whole bunch of music, and at none, no point was I saying, ah, oh, no, there's nothing. It sounds amazing. I mean, I played around a couple of weeks ago uh, with uh, you know a lot of my KZs, and I took the NRA, which I have here in my hand, and this, this particular NRA here sounds just like an EDX Ultra. Sounds just like, graphs almost identical. So, you know, they, they can do it if they want. Uh, and while well, the proof is that obviously uh, KZ has been releasing some, some nice stuff lately. Another one that can be made to be sound absolutely tremendous, TRN V90. Yes, the, the, this oldie. All you have to do is open it up, switch off one of the BAs, filter in the right place and you will not believe how good this thing sounds it effectively becomes a one plus three not a one plus four and yes all the BAs are working um, it just becomes a, a total beast you know a total beast and I, I truly hope that uh, um, you know things will continue to evolve and you, we will continue to be lucky enough to see more quality products coming out um, better tuned because it's just it's just good for the hobby and basically will distinguish and separate the companies that do know what they're doing from the companies that don't know what they're doing. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, Jeff's stuff, very, very promising. Definitely be on the lookout for, for this man. He knows what he's doing. He definitely knows what he's doing. Um, and the, these mods that I've done on some of the IMs that I showed you here, I have no issues with, uh, with sharing what I've done. Just private message me and uh, I'll be happy to explain what I did. If... If sufficient people are asking for that mod, I will even go to the trouble of doing the video and, and posting the video. Uh, but for now, uh, let's keep it at that. Whoever is interested, please message me and I'll explain. All right. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little review. I'll be uh, seeing if I can still post another two reviews today. One of them, something very unexpected. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.